Today you'll learn how to play For What It's Worth, a timeless classic by Buffalo Springfield. This song needs no introduction, in my opinion every guitarist should be able to play it and every guitarist can play it, because it's really simple. The chords and strumming pattern, they are really easy here, so you won't have any problems playing it. But if you're an intermediate player or if you consider yourself a pro, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do here and most of the lessons don't cover it. Okay, and let's listen to it first. There's something's happening here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down So we'll break this lesson into four parts and each part will consist of two different versions for beginners and for pros. We'll start with the intro, with this, then move on to the verse, it's really easy, then we'll go through the chorus, arguably it's even easier, and then we're gonna learn this riff and the different variations that you can play there. And let's start with the intro. Okay, there are these two notes here, harmonic on 12th fret on the high E string and on the 7th fret. If you don't know how to play it, just slightly touch the string right above the fret wire here, don't push all the way down, just a little bit, and pluck the string with your pick. Do the same on the 7th fret and these are the notes. What I like to do, however, is this. I play bass string with my pick and this with my middle finger. This song is based on two chords, E and A, so our root notes are B and A. So we start with low E, then switch to the A string when we play the second note. If you're a total beginner, you can just, you know, play with eights here. If you feel a little more confident, you can experiment rhythmically here, like... Now, if you feel more confident, here's what you can do. Play this, and while this note is ringing, start strumming E chord. It's kinda tricky, but... Be sure not to accidentally mute it. And of course, when you're strumming here, try not to hit high E string because it's ringing. If you're enjoying this lesson so far, please subscribe, we'll really appreciate it. And now let's move on to the verse. Okay, let's talk about the strumming pattern first. As I told you, our chords are E major and A major. And if you're a beginner, just start with a down, down, up, up, down, up, most common strumming pattern in this world. Uh, your hand has to keep moving. Start with this, like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You need to have this constant motion. And just play down, down, up, up, down, up. And the same on the A chord. You have to be consistent with your strumming here. Don't play like. Your hand has to keep moving. And this is all the chorus. Like, there's something's happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. And so on and so forth. Now, if you consider yourself a pro, here's what you can do. Keep this movement, but uh, experiment, have fun. When I'm playing this, I don't have any particular strumming pattern in my mind. Of course, I'm starting from this, but here's how I play. I 
I just play how I feel here. I can add some extra strums, I can skip some of the strums. And there's this cool thing you can do in the second or third verse. In the verse where they sing What a field day for a hit. You know there are these backing vocals there. I like to add these notes to my chords. And this is how it will sound. What a field day for a hit. You see, it creates real interesting effect. So how do you do it? The first note, it's a part of A major, so we're fine here. Then we play A sus2. And we gotta finish on this G sharp here. But it's kind of tricky to play it with E major at the same time. I mean, it's possible, but... I got some troubles doing it. So this is what I do. I play E5, so I mute the third G string with my index finger, and then play this note with my pinky. So this is the chord that I get. Make sure that you don't accidentally fret your G string. Well, this will sound a little bit weird. And this is how the chorus will sound if you play it this way. What a field day for a hit. People in the street You got my idea. It's nice to spice things up from time to time because mm, if you just keep playing these two chords, I mean it's totally fine, but if you do something new, you'll instantly grab your listener's attention. It will be just more fun to listen to you. Now let's go through the chorus. It's really short and Really easy, but there's one funny thing about it. So-called fourth mystical chord. Let me explain what I mean. So we start with E. If you're a beginner, just continue your down, down up motion here. But since it's the chorus and stakes are rising up, you can switch to just constant down up. To, you know, to emphasize this chorus. So, E, what's that sound? D, everybody look, A, and the last chord of the chorus is oh, subject to debates, because everyone plays it differently. I'm playing this song for many years and I'm still not sure what is the last chord of this chorus, because look. What's that sound? Everybody look, what's going on? You can just keep playing A, and it sounds fine. You can lift your ring finger and play A7. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Like this. Everybody look what's going down. Sounds great as well. Or you can play C chord here. Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Some people are playing this. A sharp major, I guess. It works for them, it doesn't work for me. So choose your own adventure. You can just stay on A or you can play A7. I think I like A7 more, but C major sounds nice as well. So one more time. Stop. Children, what's that sound? Or C major. And back to chorus. If you consider yourself a pro, here's what you can do. It's not that hard, but I like to imitate a uh, vocal line rhythmically here. Like, stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. No, just... Instead of just strumming the same thing... I think it's time to stop. And we go back to this chill verse. So, 
try to do something fun here and experiment with your strumming. And now we know everything except this riff that is played through the whole song. Let's learn how to do it. It goes like this. So, if you're a beginner, here's how we play it. E and then just slide to the 4th fret on the A, 2nd fret on the D, and then slide back and you can either pull off or just play A. Then you play A chord and play the same lick. But you can have some fun here. And here's what I like to do here. For example, when I'm playing E chord, I play the same lick, but when I go to the A, I use major pentatonic here and play some Hendrix style licks. We got frets 2, 4 to 4 on G and D strings and this is what you can do here. Just improvise and have fun. These are your notes, just... And... Do slides, do hammer-ons, do double stops. You got my point. Okay, now we know everything there is to know about the song, so why not play it together? Before we begin, it's really important to play groovy, to play at the same speed all the time, so I really recommend you to play the metronome, back and track, or with the original song. I'm gonna use beat body guitar pedal here. You know, it's this cool little thing, you can select any beat or any drum sound you like, just press the button and you'll have your back and track here. I'm using just a straight rock here, uh, works great for this song. In my opinion, it's more fun playing and practicing that way, because metronome can get boring sometimes. If you'd like to know a little bit more about BeatBody and what it can do, let us know in the comments, so perhaps we'll review it. We never reviewed any guitar stuff on our channel and it will be fun to do it. And if you don't want to wait for our review and want to know more about it, you can check the link down in the description and you will get a discount if you'll decide to buy it. Okay, so let's play together now. It doesn't matter what version do you choose, you can play just simple chords, uh, or you can try to do some fun stuff. Just try to stay as close to me as possible. And uh, let's play A7 in the chorus, so that we don't play different chords. One, two, three, four. and so on and so forth. If you're a beginner and want to continue improving, check out this video and make sure that you don't make any of these mistakes. They can really mess up your playing. And if you're a pro and you like this way of playing songs, check out this video. It's a really interesting arrangement of Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it.